Welcome back to Woody Blake Adventures. Today we're going to look at a trail camera, um, specifically a cellular trail camera created by Creative XP. Um, we have the property that we're not at all the time, so we needed a way to know what's going on there and just, you know, see if anything um, happens. We're using it as like a security camera, but also it's nice to, you know, capture some wildlife pictures. Um, so we'll go ahead and show you uh, what the camera looks like as we unbox it and we'll do a little setup and then we'll see you know the process of mounting it and we'll go from there so here it goes okay here we have our creative xp glass raven 4g trail camera um, you can see it's made by creative xp um, it has some of the features listed here you know, it does HD video. We're just gonna use it for pictures. I don't think I'm gonna enable the video. Um, but it has, you know, a whole bunch of different features listed. All right. So when we open the box, we have a user manual. We have a paper of, please read this information before you start using the game camera. Um, basically it looks like how you can activate the Sim Hero card that comes with it. Um, that Sim card will allow you to use it as a 4G cell camera to send you pictures. Um, there are some pretty decent plans. You, know, you could go for monthly plans, six month plans, or even yearly plans. Um, the lowest yearly plan you can get for $40 a, a year, you could have um, a yearly plan with 5,000 pictures. So we'll probably end up doing something like that. Um, I don't believe we're gonna need more pictures than that. It does start, I think it gives you like 500 pictures to start with as a trial included. Okay, this is the SIM card. You can see the SIM card was removed. It's probably in the camera ready, but this is um, where the registration is. And it tells you behind here um, registration information for your specific SIM card. And then basically just a little flyer. All right, that's packing material. So here is our actual camera. Uh, we've got a spot on top where the antenna for the 4G would mount. Um, I'm guessing these two spots here have the infrared lights behind it for nighttime capturing. Obviously we have a lens, probably a motion detector, uh, mount on the bottom. This is I see a battery pack. Um, this holds four AA batteries. And then we have the camera itself um, with the screen on the back where we can go through all the menus and do the settings. I believe there's more batteries. Yeah, we've got two more battery slots in here. Um, we also have the SD card that comes with it. If we're not using it as a cell camera, we could just store everything on the SD card. Um, there's also a power port here for 12 volt, and there's a USB connection, probably to connect it to your computer to download the pictures or even use it as a camera on your computer. All right, so let's see what else comes in the box. A little more packing. Obviously we have our 4G antenna. Uh, an adapter that goes in the power port. 
a USB cable for attaching it to our computer. Looks like a strap to mount it. I'm guessing that probably fits through these slots here. Uh, we have another, looks like USB adapters, maybe even a cable rolled up in there. And then we have a little mini uh, mounting bracket that would screw into the bottom port on the camera here. So we could mount this to a flat surface, whether it's a tree or you know the side of a building or anywhere, and then mount the camera on it. All right, let me get some of these put away. Um, what we're going to do in our environment, we will put batteries in it, but you know, unfortunately, we're not out there all the time. We want to make sure that the batteries don't go dead. Um, so we bought um, the recommended solar panel. I've actually previously opened this box, so I want to see what it looked like. Um, but there's a solar panel. You can see right now it's not charged. It's charging under my LED light here. Um, but you can charge it. It has a wall plug, which I have not assembled. Uh, we'll go ahead and assemble that while we're doing this here, if I can see which direction it goes. There we go. Um, so we could put that in the input as opposed to the output. The output is where we'd have a cable running right here. This cable would run from the output on the solar panel, which has a battery included in it, to our camera. Um, we can put the input to charge up this battery. And just like the camera, we have a little tripod to mount it to a tree, shed, roof, anything, you know, side of a building, and also a strap if we're not mounting it in that manner. So, basically that's the camera. Um, what we'll go ahead and do is follow the directions. Right here, there's four simple steps to follow to register the SimHero data card and get our account set up. Then the camera will be ready to be hooked up, mounted, and send us pictures. Uh, there's a few options within the camera itself. Um, as far as how many pictures, you know, when it detects motion, does it take one picture, two pictures, you know, up to five pictures. Um, all those different options are discussed in the book itself. Um, we'll probably do three pictures just so it captures, you know, a couple things, but we'll take a look at that and, you know, go from there. Um, you can see all the different menu options. You know, it shows you how to navigate the menus in the guide, but... Obviously, there's a little too much to go through in the, the book here. But I'll go ahead and get that set up, show you, you know, mounting it. And once everything's mounted, you know, we'll do a couple test pictures and see how they come through to our email, see what the, they look like, see what the quality is. And we'll, you know, hopefully post some pictures of, you know, some wildlife we see. So we'll go from there. The setup on SimHero's website was very simple. Each camera comes from the factory with a one-month trial data plan. Once either that data is used up or the month ends, the plan needs to be renewed for service to continue. The annual plans are priced much better than the month-to-month -month plans. The first camera we have is mounted in a more active area than the second, so we set up a larger data plan on that one. When motion is detected, the camera takes a series of pictures and if set up, a short video clip as well. One picture is emailed using the cell plan from SimHero. Here's an example of the email received with the attachment picture showing the activity. The other images and video can't be viewed until the data is downloaded from the SD card. In another video in the future, we'll show the mounting of the cameras, recharging them as needed, downloading the pictures and videos from the SD card, and more of the activity we've captured. Thanks for watching our video. Please give us a like, share the video with your friends, subscribe to our channel so you know when we post a new video, and leave us a comment. Thanks.